Welcome back. Our guest today, Roger Montgomery from rogermontgomery.com. And also looking at these two stocks here, BHP, Rio there. At the moment, we're starting to hear from a couple of analysts that they're preferring Rio over BHP, given that you know BHP could be in the midst of a long hostile takeover bid. But I mean, what do you, oh, what's your... So what? You right. Know, I mean, yeah, what are they... You'd never ask a barber whether you need a haircut. You know, they're, <laughs> they're always going to get you to do something. You know, it, look, the reality is BHP is a superior business to Rio. It just is. It generates better returns on equity. It has less goodwill on its balance sheet. It has lower debt. Um, it, it's from a you know, if I got, had the choice of owning those two businesses, I'd rather own BHP. Whether or not you know they get into a protracted takeover battle uh, over potash, well, that's a separate issue. Um, I valued potash because I had someone on my blog ask me, you know, hey, what do you think potash is worth? So I, I, I quickly ran some numbers. I got a dollar, 117 dollars. Um, BHP's bidding uh, just over 130, I think, for it. And there's talk there might be a, a counter bid of 150 or thereabouts. And it's all very exciting, and it makes for really interesting news. But, but really, you know, if, look. The truth is the population of the world is getting bigger, uh, fuel costs are going up, food shortages were something that we were all talking about recently. There were riots for rice only a year and a half ago or thereabouts. Um, so, you know, so fertiliser is going to be in demand and we might find that looking backwards, um, the return on equity of potash, which I think is in the mid-20s, um, we're, we're sort of a distant memory and we see much higher returns. Um, so, so really it could be worth a lot more than that. But again, you're speculating about a whole bunch of things that I'm no good at doing. AGL down today, $14.95. Is this anywhere near your intrinsic value? No, it, look, intrinsic value for this business is about half the current price. Wow. Um, it's a, it's a, an, an average business. Um, people like its defence char defensive characteristics, um, but but I like to buy great businesses when they're cheap. It just isn't. Uh, it doesn't mean the share price won't go up. It's just not cheap at the moment. Now to our outperform segment today. What are you looking at in the mid to large cap sector you think is going to outperform? Oh, well, look, I don't know if it's in the mid to large cap sector. I'm not looking at individual oh, sure. sectors. Uh, I hope that doesn't matter. No, no, that's fine. Um, no, we just want uh, to that's like. going to outperform. Yeah, look, a company that I think is at a substantial discount to its intrinsic value, and I have to confess that I own these shares. So, so if you do uh, buy these shares, you're helping me more than you. So you need to do your research and get some personal professional advice. But I really like a company called Matrix Engineering. Um, they're in the process of uh, built, uh, developing, or not developing, manufacturing um, buoyancy devices primarily uh, for offshore drilling. Um, there's some huge demand, uh, huge expenditure being planned uh, for offshore drilling globally. Um, they've got a, a, an order book of about $200 million and that's, uh, that looks like it's going to actually go up. Um, there's some concerns about what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico, of course, because that's going to take a long time to clear, and so a lot of the offshore rigs will be moved elsewhere and that might cut demand. But this is a business that already has the, the, the books um, uh, the money on its books, uh, it's trading at a discount to its intrinsic value, it's got little or no debt or manageable debt um, and its return on equity has been going up and it's been around for a long time. A lot of people have asked the question, uh, Roger, what do you think of this uh, business because it's only been listed for a year? Well, in actual fact, it's been in business since 1982, so it's been around for a long time. It's one that I like. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to go up. It could halve from here. I've just got no way of predicting that. Today's question comes from Pat from Canberra. He says, I own shares in Flexi Group Limited, FXL, a ticket code there. It announced a good result on Tuesday and is asking what's Roger's opinion of Flexi Group, FXL. Well, what are your thoughts on, on this one for Pat? Well, look, a, a couple of things first. In terms of, in terms of its um, quality, it's, it's not an A1. Um, uh, you know, I like to stick to A1s and A2 type businesses primarily. Um, this is a business that I would rate as a B4. Um, so it's right in the middle of my um, band. Uh, and, however, having said that, the intrinsic value of the business is higher than where it is today. I've got a, uh, a, a value of $1.61 uh, going to $1.73. Um, so that's above the current price, which is about $1.40 or thereabouts. Yep. Uh, so, um, so yes, look, it's at a discount to its intrinsic value, but it isn't one of my A1 or A2 businesses, and I like to stick to the best quality businesses. We've only got 30 or seconds or so left. Any of those stand out to you as, oh, as ones close to you? Wally Parsons okay. um, is, is a terrific business. Um, it is, uh, it's an A1 
quality business uh, and its intrinsic value is going up. It's trading around its intrinsic value today. It's not particularly cheap, um, but that intrinsic value is, is expected to rise over the next couple of years. Fantastic. Roger, thank you so much for coming on the it's program. Really enjoy it. And thank congratulations you. on the book too. Thank you so much. Roger Montgomery there from rogermontgomery.com. That's all we've got time for here from the team here. Thanks for your company.